Here's your DDS. My name is Anel Luth. I am 24 and I'm currently a D2 at the University of Iowa College of Dentistry. In Dorf, Iowa, I also attended University of Iowa for undergrad where I studied enterprise leadership and health science. In undergrad, I was heavily involved in dance marathon where I was able to run my own dance marathon group and run a marathon, which is super cool. I also worked at the University of Iowa hospitals and clinics in hospital dentistry in the business office and I worked at a lo local restaurant as well. So involved in pre-dent club which I feel like had the biggest impact on me joining dental school because through that I was able to do the summer health education and professions program. Just a free six week program that really immerses you in all things dentistry, connects you with other people from other healthcare fields and I also had the opportunity to get a free interview out of the process or a guaranteed interview out of the process at Iowa which is really cool. I would definitely check it out if it's something you're interested in. From a very young age I always knew I wanted to have some kind of career in the healthcare field whether that be MD, nurse, I just really didn't know what it was yet until I had spent quite a few amount of hours in the dental chair. I had braces, I've had endo treatment, just the works, and I really enjoyed how integrated all the different fields of dentistry were to fix the patient's problem. And that's kind of what landed me on dentistry in the first place. I had always felt comfortable in the dental chair, and I knew that's the career I wanted to pursue. So probably from age like 13, 14, Definitely like beginning of high school, I knew that's what I was going to do. I was going to be a dentist, so I immersed myself in all things pre-dentistry and started shadowing some dentists, some local dentists, and yeah, that's how I pretty much ended up here. I was so nervous for the DAT when it came around. I had been like really dreading taking it, but I took four months and I carved out that time. It was in the midst of COVID, so I feel like I was a little bit lucky with that. Um, there was online classes and I used DAT Bootcamp and I used the schedule that they had on there. And I thought it was really helpful just overall to really review all the subjects. So I would recommend using DAT Bootcamp or some kind of external resource just to keep you on the right track and kind of have you prepped for what to expect on the DAT. But one of my biggest takeaways of advice are to do what works best for you. I know you see so many different YouTubes or just other people who took two months to study for it and they got a 25 or they took a whole year to study for it and did amazingly. Do what works best for you. At the end of the day, it's not all about the one single score. A lot of schools look for well-rounded applicants and one simple test score is not going to define your application. So do what works best for you and stick to that. Just try not to compare yourself and do the best that you can. I had fallen in love with the University of Iowa College of Dentistry in high school. It was my very first time touring it and I had known all along that I wanted to go to there so it was actually the only school I did apply to. But I know that is very rare, so I don't always recommend only applying to one school and putting all your eggs in a basket, but personally it was the only place I could see myself going. So I had really tried hard to network with the people around you. The director of admissions is amazing, so if you're interested, get in contact with her. And just talk to people at the school, current dental students, even pre other pre -dents. I know it seems like kind of scary to reach out to other people because it is a competitive thing but at the end of the day everyone is around you wants to help you and the people who you're in pre-dental with typically are also going to be in your class i know quite a few people in my class i had met far before we had gotten acceptance letters so just know that you're not the only one that's applying but at the same time the people around you are there to help you the next question is describe your interview day so at Iowa, the interview is typically from 8 to 12, I remember, or 8 to 1 or 2, actually, um, because they do give you lunch, which is really nice. But it was, I remember feeling so nervous. I was in my car, hyping myself up, and I just really didn't know what to expect. But when I got there, I felt so at ease. They really ease you into it. It's a very casual thing. They just really want to get to know who you are and how you would best fit into the program. So 
definitely just be yourself. I know it's cliche, but everyone says it. Just be yourself and see if the school that you're wanting to go to fits you as much as you want to go to it. So I know that they're there to interview you, but figure out maybe ask them about the facilities, ask them about different programs or what they have coming up to kind of see and get a feel for if that's a school that you see yourself at. That's a really big part of interview day is to see if you're there. But I remember I was a very first interview group, so I think I went, you know, right away and then it was two different rooms of for 15 minutes each with two different people within the school. It could be anyone from the dean of the school to janitorial staff to other students. You don't know really who you're interviewing with until afterwards. I remember practicing with my friends and just finding questions that are asked at a typical interview and we would go through and do mock interviews with each other and give each other constructive criticism. But at the end of the day, you don't want to memorize any answers. You just want to be yourself and put your best foot forward and share your personality. Get to know them. They're getting to know you. They just want to know that you're a regular person and see if you'll fit into the culture of their program. Coming out of it, I felt so confident and so assured that that was the school I wanted to go to. I remember I could, like almost couldn't sleep. I just really wanted that acceptance email right away. Um, I was just so excited, but I also got to meet so many cool people who are currently in my class at my interview day, so definitely take the day to network with the people around you because you could be seeing some familiar faces on the first week of classes. My biggest piece of advice that I kind of talked about in the last question is just to go in being fully yourself, be confident in who you are. You set yourself apart from so many others to even get this interview, so make the most of it. Ask them questions, see how you would fit the school the best because they're seeing how you'd fit the school the best, but you also want to see, like, why should you be attending this school? Do you fit the culture? Do you feel comfortable and confident there? I just remember feeling so like at ease and at home with who I was talking to and it was just a really surreal experience that I had spent so many hours and days and months preparing for this one shot and I was there just selling myself and that's all you can do. I remember doing a lot of mock interview questions. I'm not sure if they're still available on the internet but I utilized the internet to find quite a few like mock interview, dental school questions. I think they might have them per school. I know the questions change up a little bit, but just to kind of give yourself an idea of what the questions could be like, a lot of ours were some scenario based and kind of just get to know you questions. So they just wanna see that you're a real person. You're not just a robot. You're not just all numbers. You have personality, you have character, and they just wanna see if you fit best into the program or how you would be an asset to that program. At the same time, how that program would benefit you. As I had said before, I had fallen in love with the University of Iowa College of Dentistry from the beginning and I had known that I'd always seen myself there so I only applied to that one school but a lot of my classmates have applied to many schools and I ultimately picked this school because I was just familiar with Iowa, familiar with Iowa City and the lifestyle that University of Iowa students had, so I just felt that it would be the best in transition, but I also really, really enjoyed the fact that you see a patient your very first year at Iowa, which I'm not sure what other schools do because I only applied to this one, but I have just was thinking about that from the very beginning. I had always wanted to, you know, get hands on. You choose dentistry to have that patient interaction, and you see so many patients at University of Iowa College of Dentistry that I just had known that I wanted to be thrown in and get immersed with patients to really help build my practical skills and my patient skills, which I could not be happier to have all the experience that I've had so far. The beginning of dental school and just the transition from pre-dent to dental school I thought was so overwhelming. It was definitely hard to go from being kind of excelling in undergrad to then being in a class with our classes 80, 80 also very smart people. So I think just the time management of it all, you're in class a lot of the day and then you have to go review, which in undergrad you're kind of only in lecture for a few hours, then you have a long time before your next exam. So I just thought it was pretty difficult at the beginning. There lots of things going on, there's lots of things 
getting thrown at you, at you, you're meeting so many new people. But what helped the most, I thought, is surrounding yourself with the people who have similar study styles as you, who aren't going to compare grades if that's not something you're interested in, and who support you. At the end of the day, everyone in your class is going to be a dentist, so it shouldn't be a too competitive environment. If you find the people who will stick by you, help you study, help you excel, that will definitely make things a lot easier, I would say. My study habits definitely changed a lot too, so I went from only being able to study at the library to being able to study at the library and at home because I had to. And then switching just habits that you study in to is definitely a game changer. I used to only go through slides um, in undergrad. I would just go through the slides and be prepared for the exam, and now I kind of have to work a little bit harder. A typical day in the life of a first year dental student is a little bit different every day. I remember there being lots of didactic work, so be prepared for that. Our 8 to 12s were typically just lectures. We took anatomy, biochem, physiology, just a lot of that core work that you took in undergrad that you thought you wouldn't need to remember. Still remember that, Krebs cycle, all the good stuff. So that was typically what was going on from 8 to noon and then we'd have a lunch break. Our school offers a lot of different things happening during lunch, so lunch and learns, which are pretty much free lunch, and then you get to learn about other things that dentists could teach you about, Botox, how to run a practice, so a lot of information going in, extracurricular around lunchtime, and that's another time you get to really engage with students. There's food trucks some days, lots of stuff going on at lunch, and then one to five for D1 year was simulation clinic. So we had anterior and posterior pros, dental anatomy. Just, I remember learning so much D1 year. I don't think I've ever been as smart as I was D1 year. My brain was like a sponge. So much to learn, so much excelling, so much bailing, all the in-betweens, all the highs and lows D1 year, but it was a really good time. And what makes me most excited about getting up and going to school every day is number one right now for me as a D2, patient interactions. We are currently doing minor operative on patients and I think it is so cool to be learning about this stuff for a whole year and a half and finally being able to put it into action. My biggest piece of advice to pre is that you're in such an exciting time of your life and I know it can seem so grueling playing the waiting game and just wanting to get there, wanting to be in dental school, wanting to become a dentist, but don't wish your time away. You're in such a special and cool time of being able to pick the school you want to go to, being able to choose this career path and just don't wish it away. I remember just being like, oh I'll be happy when I get into dental school, oh I'll be happy when I'm finally done with so and so class and just take every day and be so grateful for the journey that you're on. It goes by so, so fast, so just be excited about where you are. It's all an uphill battle, and I would just tell myself, my pre dent self, to stop worrying so much. Things will work out how they're supposed to work out, and try not to stress too much about it. I know it's better said than done, but just be so excited and spend more time, you know, getting to know the people in your undergrad joining clubs and doing stuff that truly makes you happy because at the end of the day, your happiness is not defined by an acceptance letter, the school you go to, what your career is, it is within. Thank you Future GDS for this opportunity. It has been so fun to answer all of your questions. If you have any other questions for me, feel free to connect with me on Instagram at Anel Luth or on TikTok at it's underscore Anel.